stating, She wrote to him stating, If you do not act to ensure that Hamid has psychiatric care, If you do not act to ensure that Hamid has psychiatric care, Away from Manus Island, Away from Manus Island, Then any acts of violence, Then any acts of violence, Including self-harm or attempts at suicide, Including self-harm or attempts at suicide, Would be due to your inaction, Would be due to your inaction, And the inaction of the Australian government, and the inaction of the Australian government. I urge you very strongly to bring him to a psychiatric unit in Australia. I urge you very strongly to bring him to a psychiatric unit in Australia. On the 4th of July 2016. On the 4th of July 2016. Dr. Braley's office acknowledged the receipt of the email. Dr. Braley's office acknowledged the receipt of the email. On the 5th of July 2016. On the 5th of July 2016, Hamid was again taken to Lorengau Jail. Hamid was again taken to Lorengau Jail. He was sentenced to four weeks imprisonment. He was sentenced to four weeks imprisonment. He was released early after the intervention of Manus MP Ronnie Knight. He was released early after the intervention of Manus MP Ronnie Knight who urged that he be given urgent psychological help. Who urged that he be given urgent psychological help. This help was not provided and Hamid ended up on the streets of Manus. This help was not provided and Hamid ended up on the streets of Manus. On the 1st of August 2016. On the, on the 1st, 1st of August 2016. Advocate Margaret Sinclair again wrote to Dr Braley. Advocate, Advocate Margaret Sinclair again wrote to Dr Braley. On 11th of August she was advised. On 11th of August she was advised. That Hamid was being included on a list of asylum seekers. Braley was actively watching. That Hamid was being included on a list of asylum seekers. Braley was actively watching. On the 6th of August 2016. On the 6th of August 2016. Doctors for Refugees finally received Hamid's file from IHMS. Doctors for Refugees finally received Hamid's file from IHMS. Doctors for Refugees, Paddy McGlisky, wrote to Braley expressing concern. Doctors for Refugees, Paddy McGlisky, wrote to Braley expressing concern. That whilst in a fragile psychological state, that whilst in a fragile psychological state, Hamid was sentenced to Lorengau jail. Hamid was sentenced to Lorengau jail. He stressed that Hamid urgently needed. He stressed that Hamid urgently needed ongoing medication, psychological and physical care. Ongoing medication, psychological and physical care. On the 1st of November 2016. On the 1st of November 2016. Margaret Sinclair made a submission to the Senate inquiry. Margaret Sinclair made a submission to the Senate inquiry. Into serious allegations of abuse, self-harm and neglect. Into serious allegations of abuse, self-harm and neglect. Of asylum seekers on Manus Island and Nauru. Of asylum seekers on Manus Island and Nauru. The submission referred to Hamed being arrested because of his erratic behaviour. The submission referred to Hamid being arrested because of his erratic behaviour. And that Hamid was crying and laughing after being beaten by PNG police in custody. And that Hamid was crying and laughing after being beaten by PNG police in custody. Today we are here because the Australian government failed Hamid Shamshi report. Today we are here because the Australian government failed Hamid Shamshi report. Today we say there must be no more deaths by policy. Today we say there must be no more deaths by policy. On the 24th of December 2016. On Christmas Eve, 27 year old Faisal Ishaq Ahmed died. On Christmas Eve, 27 year old Faisal Ishaq Ahmed died. Like Hamid, Faisal's friends have written complaints to IHMS and Border Force. Like Hamid, Faisal's friends had written complaints to IHMS and Border Force. Requesting that he be provided with medical treatment. Requesting that he be provided with medical treatment. His friends wrote. His friends wrote. Faisal's death was predictable and preventable. Faisal's death was predictable and preventable. IHMS, DIBP, ICSA, Wilson and BRS murdered him. 
IHMS, DIBP, ICSA, Wilson and BRS murdered him. In January 2017. In January 2017. Baruz Bouchani, a Kurdish journalist held on Manus said. Baruz Bouchani, a Kurdish journalist held on Manus said. Hamid, as a refugee who is in need of psychological care. Hamid, as a refugee who is in need of psychological care. Is an example of how Australia does not care. Is an example of how Australia does not care. About what local people want or about refugees. About what local people want or about refugees. Instead of providing medical treatment for him. Instead of providing medical treatment for him. Australia has abandoned him in Manus society. Australia has abandoned him in Manus society. Where it makes trouble for locals, police, the court and refugees. Where it makes trouble for locals, police, the court and refugees. After causing so much psychological harm. After causing so much psychological harm. They have left a man with a lot of mental problems. They have left a man with a lot of mental problems. In a strange society without any prote protection and put him in dangers. In a strange society without any protection and put him in dangers. They have left him hungry and homeless. They have left him hungry and homeless. On the 11th of January 2017. On the 11th of January 2017. Doctors for Refugees again wrote to Dr Brayley. Doctors for Refugees again wrote to Dr Brayley. Describing Australia's treatment of Hamid as nothing less than medieval. Describing Australia's treatment of Hamid as nothing less than medieval. They stated, this man is likely grossly psychotic. They stated, this man is likely grossly psychotic. And needs high dependency inpatient management as a matter of urgency. And needs high dependency inpatient management as a matter of urgency. We are looking to you to ensure he is managed appropriately and to Australian standards. We are looking to you to ensure he is managed appropriately and to Australian standards. In February and again in March 2017. In February and again in March 2017. Margaret Sinclair wrote to Comcare about the fact that Australian staff Margaret Sinclair wrote to Comcare about the fact that Australian staff were knowingly placing Hamid in situations which exacerbated his mental health problems were knowingly placing Hamid in situations which exacerbated his mental health problems and put him at risk of physical abuse and put him at risk of physical abuse WA Liberal Senator Michaelia Cash has responsibility for this government department. WA Liberal Senator Michaelia Cash has responsibility for this government department. Today we are here because the Australian government failed Hamid Shamshirapur. Today we are here because the Australian government failed Hamid Shamshirapur. Today we say there must be no more deaths by policy. Today we say there must be no more deaths by policy. In March 2017. In March 2017. In response to the court ruling in April 2016. In response to the court ruling in April 2016. PNG's Chief Justice found that Manus Island Detention Centre has been closed. PNG's Chief Justice found that Manus Island Detention Centre has been closed. Despite the fact that 860 men are still held there. Despite, Despite the, the fact, fact that 860 men are still held there. The men were told that they were living on a naval base. The men were told that they were living on a naval base. The island is their prison. The, the island is their prison. prison. On the 7th of August 2017. On the 7th of August 2017. One week ago, Hamid Shamshirapur's body. One week ago, Hamid Shamshirapur's body was found near the Refugee Transit Centre in East Lorengau, PNG. Was found near the Refugee Transit Centre in East Lorengau, PNG. Today we are here because the Australian Government failed Hamid Shamshirapur. Today we are here because the Australian Government failed Hamid Shamshirapur. Today we say there must be no more deaths by policy. Today we say there must be no more deaths by policy. On the 8th of August 2017. On the 8th of August 2017. Hamid's father was interviewed by BBC Persian. 
Hamid's father was interviewed by BBC Persian. In this interview, he stated, In this interview, he stated, My son was seven months in Australia. My son was seven months in Australia. His leg was broken, he had an operation. His leg was broken, he had an operation. But after some time, they sent him back to PNG. But after some time, they sent him back to PNG. In a really, really bad and disgusting camp. In a really, really bad and disgusting camp. They shouldn't treat him like that. They shouldn't treat him like that. He had lots of mental problem there. He had, he had lots, lots of mental problems there. there. When I called him, he could not talk. When, when I called him, he could not talk. He didn't know who I am. He didn't know who I am. He didn't know that I am his father. He didn't know that I am his father. Iranian and Australian government didn't have any contact with me. Iranian and Australian government didn't have any contact with me. When we asked Iranian, they said Australian government. When we asked Iranian, they said Australian government. Didn't let us know who was killed. Didn't let us know who was killed. But I heard from his friend that he died. But I heard from his friend that he died. On the same day, on, on the same, same day, day, one of Hamid's friends wrote to an activist. One, one of Hamid's, Hamid's friends wrote to an activist. He was a very good person. I remember the times he was okay. He, he was, was a very good person. I remember the times he was okay. He was playing guitar and singing with it. He was, he was playing, playing guitar, guitar and singing with it. Then gradually he lost his mind. Then, then gradually he lost his mind. On the same day, on, on the, the same, same day, day Liberal Senator Michaela Cash attacked the Greens. Liberal Senator Michaela Cash attacked the Greens. As worse than disgusting for holding a minute's silence in the Senate for Hamid. As worse than disgusting for holding a minute's silence in the Senate for Hamid. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull said. Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull said. We all regret the death of the person detained in PNG. We all regret the death of the person detained in PNG. And then use the platform to celebrate his border policies. And, and then, then use the platform to celebrate his border policies. On the 9th of August 2017. On the 9th of August 2017. It is reported that Hamid's family. It is reported that Hamid's family. Have requested that his body be brought to Australia from PNG. Have requested that his body be brought to Australia from PNG. For an urgent independent ops autopsy and inquest into his death. For an urgent independent autopsy and inquest into his death. Since then. Since then. Hamid's friends have continued to remember him. Hamid's friends have continued to remember him. One man wrote that he was one of the most gifted singers among us. One man wrote that he was one of the most gifted singers among us. He was so kind, gentle and passionate before falling in mental disorder and sickness. He was so kind, gentle and passionate before falling in mental disorder and sickness. His mental and physical disorder continued to deteriorate. His mental and physical disorder continued to deteriorate. As nobody in the authorities concerned wanted to give any help to him. As nobody in the authorities concerned wanted to give any help to him. Once again, the history of offshore policy revived its cruelty. Once again, history of offshore policy revived its cruelty. And swallowed this young man without a sign of mercy. And swallowed this young man without a sign of mercy. We still don't have any idea how many more will lay down their lives. We still don't have any idea how many more will lay down their lives. To this fascist, apartheid, cruel policy. To this fascist, apartheid, cruel policy. This casualty could be avoided. This casualty could be avoided. But they were handling his suffering half-heartedly. But they were handling his suffering half-heartedly. In order to cause further chaos and send a wave of fear with a clear message. In order to cause further chaos and send a wave of fear with a clear message. Another man wrote. Another man wrote. On Monday, 7th of August, 2017. On Monday, 7th of August, 2017. Our beloved friend Hamid was found dead. Our beloved friend Hamid was found dead. It was a sad day and one we will never forget. 
It was a sad day and one we will never forget. We lost another kind and caring friend. We lost another kind and caring friend. His parents lost their son to unjust policies. His parents lost their son to unjust policies. And Australians got more blood on their hands. And Australians got more blood on their hands. Hamid's death is not the only one to remember. Hamid's death is not the only one to remember. It is with constant grief and anger at injustice. It is with constant grief and anger at injustice. That we also remember. That we also remember. Reza Barati. Reza Barati. Hamid Kahazai. Hamid Kahazai. Kamil Hussain. Kamil Hussain. And Faisal Ish. Ishak Ahmed and, and Faisal, Faisal Ishak Ahmed. Ahmed. We won't forget them. We won't, we won't, won't forget, forget them. them. Hamid was a very kind, intelligent, decent and humble guy. Hamid was, was a very kind, kind intelligent, intelligent, decent and humble guy. guy. He was a good guitar player. He, he was, was a, a good, good guitar, guitar player. player. His guitar sound is still playing in my ears and heart. His, His guitar, guitar sound, sound is still playing in my ears and heart. heart. In my early days on Manus, I got much courage and strength from Hamid. In my early days on Manus, I got much courage and strength from Hamid. I was so sad and down during those days. I was so sad and down during those days. Most nights I could see and listen to Hamid playing guitar and singing funny songs. Most nights I could see and listen to Hamid playing guitar and singing funny songs. That made us laugh and brought smiles to, on our faces. That, that made, made us laugh and brought smiles on our faces. He would also write his own poems. He would, he would also write his own poems. At the start of last year, Hamid's mental illness was getting worse. At the start of last year, Hamid's mental illness was getting worse. By now, I'm sure you have all seen. By now, I'm sure you have all seen. What happened to Hamid Shamshiripur? What happened to Hamid Shamshiripur? Australian immigration want to dump us in PNG where we aren't safe. Australian immigration want to dump us in PNG where we aren't safe. Our friends have been beaten, robbed, and only on Monday we found one dead. Our friends have been beaten, robbed, and only on Monday we found one dead. Our lives are in the Australian government's hands. Our lives are in the Australian government's hands. Doctors for Refugees advocated for Hamid. Doctors for Refugees advocated for Hamid. Hamid's friends advocated for Hamid. Hamid's friends advocated for Hamid. Advocates spoke up for Hamid. Advocates spoke up for Hamid. Hamid would still be alive if the Australian government heeded these calls for help. Hamid would still be alive if the Australian government heeded these calls for help. There were countless opportunities to intervene that were ignored. There were countless opportunities to intervene that were ignored. Hamid would still be alive if Australian immigration and IHMS cared enough to save him. Hamid would still be alive if Australian immigration and IHMS cared enough to save him. We call on the Australian government to evacuate the camps now. We call on the Australian government to evacuate the camps now. And bring people to safety in Australia. And bring people to safety in Australia. There must be no more deaths by policy. There must be no more deaths by policy. This is an emergency. This is an emergency.